Hi ladies, it's Melody here. I am going to make the tassel for my daughter's boho slash grungy slash steampunky journal. And I thought I would go ahead and do it on camera so that I could share my technique with you. Um, this is kind of a fun thing to do. This is a 100% cotton ribbon, which um, I find a lot at garage sales and uh, secondhand stores. And I tear it up into strips to uh, add to the tassels. And so that adds another uh, dimension. So, so far, what do I have here? I have some different types of yarns different colors. As you can see the cover here, it's very colorful and uh, that is going to be really fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start putting these in order of randomness so that I get a little bit of each color and texture every now and then. So I am making this really long, but it may not stay this long, depending on, and I'm going to just uh, cut strings as they get in my way, but um, my uh, goal is to even these out, not have any one color uh, in a clump or any one um, texture. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a little bit like working with an octopus, but once it's done, it adds so much to your journal that it's worth all the hassle. Let's see, got a few more strings going on. Okay, so now we're going to get into this mauve pink yarn few strands of that in there. I like them to be different lengths, but also when I'm done, I will trim it up anyways, kind of like a haircut, so I don't stress about it too much. I just want it to be full, and you're going to think, oh my gosh, that's too full, but this uh, tassel is for my daughter, who likes to uh, wear these on her purse so we call them fringy friends and uh, so for her particular situation and style uh, the, the more more fluffy and colorful the better now i will tear up fabric to put in these sometimes um, I uh, really like them to be full and colorful, or at least the colors of the project. And I like to have different, diff, all kinds of different um, types of yarns, or threads, or cords, or anything. Like I've put um, metallic thread in there, and... Um, in my tassels. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This one is just way too long. There we go. So that leaves us with this one, which I'm just going to throw on top. This one, I'm going to throw on top. And this one I'm saving out because I'm going to show you how to bind it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is try to get it to where I can kind of tell where the middle is. I'm going to take this ribbon, row grain ribbon, and I'm going to wrap it around to where I can keep track of the end and cover up the end. And I'm going to actually, because I have to pay attention, I have to start further down over here. Because I'm going to be going across that area. And I'm just going to wrap this. Okay. 
and I'm doing it very tightly. I want it to be very secure and tight. So you got to kind of hold everything with your fingers and use your wrist to get. Okay, so I need to go a little further because it's not going to come out evenly if I don't. Okay, so if I fold that in half, I'm get, definitely getting close to being middle zone so I'm going to get my glue opened up turn it on its side so when I'm ready to work with it it's at least starting to go so now what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to glue this put a little bit of glue on this but I'm also going to push it up inside of there Okay, so I'm going to put a dab of glue here. This is Helmar 450 Quick Dry Adhesive. Uh, it is for fabrics and I use it for everything. And I'm going to twist that up inside of there. Do you see how I just shoved that right up? into that area and there's the glue there so now when I cut this the glue is going to keep it from wanting to come back out okay so now that's going to be on the inside and I'm going to turn this I missed a little chunk there in my uh, overlapping which luckily uh, this is considered a handmade item, so I don't have to be perfect. Now, I've got to try to get this through here. So, I am going to just work it its way up by trying to push all those ends inside of there when I'm pulling it up. I want to make sure if I can... Get all of them inside of the circle, which this one uh, ended up on the wrong side. That's why it was giving me difficulty. Okay, so now I've got this all the way up here. Now, this is how we're going to hook it onto the journal or purses or whatever the person that has it is going to do with it. So, now that I have that where I want it, I'm going to come in, now the side that I didn't glue is popped open, and so I'm going to glue that. And push this. You could use, I guess, maybe a screwdriver, maybe one of your small screwdrivers for your sewing machine or something. But I happen to have a palette knife here that works really well. Okay, so now that both ends are glued, I do have that bit of imperfection there, but um, like I said, I'm just not going to judge myself. And I recommend none of you do it either. So... If I bend this in half, this is what it looks like. Now, I have this strip. Now, this is the tricky part. I used to do macrame. And what I'm going to do is a macrame technique. And that is I'm going to put a, a, a loop right here where a tail is here and a tail is here and the loop is facing down. Okay. And I am going to take the longer piece of this ribbon and I'm going to start wrapping it around. And I want it to be very tight. Not so tight that I break the ribbon. You know, and you have to use a sturdy ribbon for this part. 
Okay, so, and I want to try not to get this completely backwards so that the fabric is on the wrong side, but I'm also not going to stress about it either because it will be fine. So I'm just twisting this around, and I have my loop right here. Twisting, 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 and now I'm going to put this end through this loop, and I'm going to pull on this tail, and that's going to pull that, that end up through here. And you just want to leave it inside of there. You don't want to pull it all the way out. Okay? Then you cut this off. And your um, and I could have done it on here too, but it's just such a small area, and I would have to hold um, the ends to get it secured, and so I just don't do it on there. But I I use that technique for this area. So now they are attached to each other. Everything now is complete except for if I want to add any decorations. Now, sometimes um, there are different kinds of beads that will fit on yarn, say pony beads or whatnot. I wanted to use some of these kind of um, gypsy bells. They're not um, jingle bells. They're they're like for um, the bracelets and skirts and things but that is really small so I'm gonna have to wait and use um, some some needle and thread and I'll sew these on here or you know what I might be able to fit them on this one but I don't I don't know let's find out I don't think so I don't think so I don't want to struggle with it so but these smaller ones are great for um, some of the other types of things that have a big enough hole and I don't want to I don't want to put jingle bells in there so I am going to use some of these but I'm going to have to get a needle and thread to sew them in and so I do have some charms that I would like to add but I got to look through here to see which ones will fit and what's going to work now this is uh, an idea these ones that I buy that have the larger uh, attachment at the top for, um, like I have a, a Pandora bracelet and it's kind of like that. These ones would go on there really well. But I got to find some things in here like an owl, a clock, a butterfly, what else? I'll just do these for right now. Here's a really cool key, though. Let's do these, and then, um, let's see, that's, these have too small of a hole. And these are too small. Okay, so I think these are going to be the ticket for my, uh, situation right now, and they're going to look nice with those, with those bronzy bells, so, these, let's see, if I was to hang this, and I'm going to keep track of where the hook is so that I'm working on what would be the front and side of this, which is right here. Um, let's see, this is a clock, and I'm going to attach it to this one. And I want to see, does this have a back? Nope, front and back are the same, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to tie it once. I'm going to bring it back down to the end because I don't want to have it halfway up the string. Although that would look nice too, but the string is already too short. Okay, so there is tied in a clock. Let's do the owl. And we want, if that one's hanging there, then we need to pick a string. Let's pick a string that's got more length to it. I think we could get this green one through there. Let's do this one on the green one. Let's see. Got it. Now this one I will put part way up because it's pretty long. Where did my... 
Where'd my clock go? There it is. So it's going to hang there. So I want this one to hang about here. And then I'll put one up higher. And then remember, we're putting those bells on there. And um, we'll fill this thing in and it'll look nice. So there's the owl. And we can have that hang down a little bit. Now the butterfly, let's see if we can get that up here. I haven't um, attached, well, actually, I'll see. Oh, one yarn, don't fall apart on me. There we go. So now this one I'm going to have kind of up high, so I'm just going to tie it right about there. Okay, so there we go. So now let me show you here. Might be my. I'm redoing this um, because it uh, that thread didn't. It ended up breaking and didn't work. So I need to redo it with a better thread. But let me show you that this goes like that. Now I'm going to trim some of this off. Not a lot though, because honestly, she would like it long. But that's just um, that's a sample. A little bit of a bare bones get started. Uh, on a on a really fun way to add texture and color to your journal. Thank you very much, ladies, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel. Uh, push the like button and hit the bell, and um, just you know, come back, check out what I've got going on in my next video. This is going to be the focus of a lot of videos for the next week because I get to give it to my daughter on Friday, uh, February eighth. It will be my birthday, but I will be sharing a dinner with her because her birthday is February 13th. You guys have a lovely afternoon, and thank you so much.